All initial opinions are this is genuine. What you're about to see may disturb you. In honor of me receiving this Hawaiian shirt in the mail with pictures of Kermit the Frog all over it, it's time for another exciting round of All the Muppets Are Trans! Have you ever in your life seen more of a he they lesbian? No, you have not, because Bean is the original. Sorry to any of her stands, but Denise is such a pick me trans woman. Like she will throw neo pronouns under the bus so fast. It's not gonna work, honey. The cis are not gonna respect you. Y'all don't know how long I just spent scanning the gender wiki pages to find the exact term I needed for digit. The answer is mechanogalactian. That's a gender. Have fun learning about it. I just did. She started transitioning at 50 years old, and every time you hear her story, you cry from joy. Canonically, Clifford is now a male model, which I think is just great because I think transmasculine people need to see themselves represented. You can crack all the eggs you want in your kitchen, but there's still one left. I think you're all fucked in the head. <laughs> and we are back. Happy Saturday. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> So much for joining me i hope you're all having an amazing weekend so far and it's official it is official we are now officially living in a clown world it's been quite a build up it's official now all the muppets are trans Ooh. all right as your attention goes to the screen a new york post article says virginia <laughs> virginia virginia tech instruction instructor i can't even read this instructor apologizes to students of color for being white hmm. <laughs> that's racism man i love to racism bro <laughs> i don't know i i uh, i'm speechless once again anyway thank you guys so much for coming back listen clearly it's going to be a real crazy one today. So strap that seatbelt on. Hold on tight. It's about to get wild in today's episode of Epic Woke TikTok Fails. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. We're going to dive right into it real quick. Just wanted to announce the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is brought to you by the one and only Goose. Goose, say hi to everybody. Goose, thank you so much for being the sponsor of today's video. Kisses. <laughs> we all appreciate it, buddy. All right, Goose, thank you, sir. I'll check in with you later to see how everything is going on your end. Oh, you shouldn't like crazy. All right, Goose, thank you for bringing us today's video. If you would like to sponsor the next video, there's a PayPal link in the description box below. And unless stated otherwise by you, I will read your full name as the sponsor for said video. Unless you got a nickname or like the Goose, just Goose. <laughs> there's that. And also, guys, if you want to check out Flip City Magazine, Kind of the new age uh, mad magazine or crack magazine. More of a political slant to it. Super funny. These guys nailed it with the graphics, the um, the artwork. It's a uh, great magazine, great people. So if you want to check that out, there is a link in the description box as well. And if you use code Mike10, give you 10% off any subscription you place with Flip City Magazine. All right, we're going to start it off on the right foot here this one is funny dear unvaccinated people roll it hi this is a little message to the unvaccinated Ugh. you are killing everyone it's your fault you're being selfish so get the vaccine because i'm vaccinated i am vaccinated okay and so I'm protected because the vaccine is safe and effective. So if you're around me and you're unvaccinated, then you're putting me at, at well, you're not, you're, no, okay. So you're selfish because if I'm protected and you're around me, then I'm, then I'm fine. But you're, but you're me, sorry. If you're not vaccinated, then you're not, it's your, um, you're racist. <laughs> 
Oh, wow, that was brilliant. That guy nailed it. Perfect. Perfect. And that's that's exact that's exactly how their argument goes. Nailed it. Thank you, sir. Oh, and I forgot to mention, listen, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, become a part of uh, the greatest community on the YouTubes. We're just trying to get through these crazy times together, having fun, trying to keep laughing. It's getting wild out there. So join us on this journey. Join this amazing community and let's keep it moving. All right, next up. Ah, uh, yes. Y you know it's going to be good when the hair's a different shade of... Well, never mind. It says, I've been... I've been using Tinder recently, but I keep accidentally matching with Republicans, and it's so annoying. I think I'm going to mute this because it's just a rap song of sorts. Let's see. Damn, homie, where's the drip at? Yeah, let's mute that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I get it. Read her hat. Uh -huh. Hmm. Fuck yourself! <laughs> Uh, yeah, basically that's it. Go after yourself. <laughs> Moving right along. All right, next. <laughs> it's only getting better. My cat is... <laughs> My cat is... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is... It's just getting ridiculous. My cat is gay and he can tell what your gender identity is. Sure, lady. Let's hear it. Roll the film, please. My cat is gay and he can tell what your gender identity is. By that, I mean that my cat only hums men, whether that's trans men, cis men, or kind of trans masculine non-binary people. He will not hum cis women, trans women, or other non-binary people. And that is regardless of the main sexual hormone that is present in their body. So if my cat can tell that gender identity is a thing, then gender identity is a thing. Contrary to some turf's beliefs, it's not some kind of magic soul thing that has no impact on reality because even turfs don't believe that the trans lobby is able to brainwash cats. Time ago, being crazy meant something. Nowadays, everybody's crazy. Cuckoo. Gay! My cat is gay, and he can tell what your gender identity is. I wonder if she walks up to people and says, she just walks up to someone and says, Hey, my cat, can you imagine? Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? I <laughs> the gay cat lady does. All right, moving right along. <laughs> All right, this next one's a little, uh, I don't a little strange, so uh, yeah, it, it fits right in. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Roll the film, please. Get ready with me to go to Outback Steakhouse. There will be a man sitting across from me at Outback Steakhouse, but I don't expect that his presence will come between me and Outback Steakhouse. This is what I'm wearing. These are my shoes. I have to earn that blooming onion. This guy is starting off on the right foot with me because he did not make fun of me when I said I wanted to go to Outback Steakhouse. Usually men are like, don't you want to go somewhere nicer? No, I want to go to Outback Steakhouse. Some commenters have asked how I managed to go on so many dates. And my strategy is called rat fishing. With this strategy, you choose photos for your profile where you don't necessarily look your best. The objective is to appear more attainable than you do in real life. That way, when you meet up for the first time, he feels underdressed and inferior and that places the power back in your hands. The results speak for themselves. Look at me, an unwed heifer in her mid-twenties, at the height of her milk-producing days. I'm a strong, independent cow who don't need no bull. I don't mind giving my milk away for free because so many men are calcium deficient. For these shimmers, by the way, I use the Don't Be Jelly palette by Alien Cosmetics. A commenter told me I wasn't going to be hot 25 years from now, and I disagree. When I turn 50, I plan to be burned at the stake for casting spells on the local neighborhood children. You're sick. I really mean that you're sick. I think this is funny. No, I think it's disgusting. <laughs> what, the, what the hell is she talking about? Oh, I feel bad for the gentleman that's buying her blooming onion for her at, uh... <laughs> oh, backstick. All right, let's, uh, keep it moving. Wow. Okay, here's another one where... 
They say this is healthy, I guess. I don't know. Let's let's hear it. <laughs> Roll the film, please. Bodies are worthy. Is it healthy or they're not? And if you say that that's not true, I'll kick you in the crotch. Bodies are worthy. Is it healthy or they're not? And if you say that that's not true, I'll kick you in the crotch. You say you're just concerned, but I know that's insincere. And if you don't stop trolling, I will kick you in the rear. Then this is not a virtue, and there's no reason to gloat. And if you post a before and after, I'll kick you in the throat. It's okay to have a big belly, so you might have double chins. And if you're all like you, that's gross, I'll kick you in the shins. Other bodies aren't your business, no need to be unkind. It's 2021, and it's that people's time to shine. It's okay to be seen, and you deserve to take up space. And if anyone says otherwise, I'll kick them in the face. Yes, we're choosing islands, but that folks do it too. And if you're feeling very attacked, then you have some work to do. But look, man, look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Eat vegetable! Eat broccoli! <laughs> Listen, guys, we got a short one, shorter one today than usual, so... We're almost done. I appreciate you guys sticking it out if you made it this far. Give yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We are being massively suppressed by the YouTube algorithm. So it's, it's very frustrating. It's very disheartening. But you know what? They're not going to hold us down. All right. Let's see what we got here. Roll the film. Did I say something earlier about hair? Color, hair color. Roll it. Hey, I already look like a little rat boy, but I bought some mascara today to try to do the facial hair thing, and I know I'm probably going to look like a greasy high school boy, but I did want to try to give myself a stash. Nothing's happening. this goes well, it might become my new vibe. Isn't that what makes a man? Mm, sure, that and a pair of testicles. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. All right, next up, listen, okay, so this one, it says, congrats, the comment says, congrats on making the Ben Shapiro cringe compilation. Now, this person made, was in one of my videos as well. I think it was the very same clip um, Ben Shapiro made it recently, a lot more recently, but I had this person in a video, I don't know, three weeks ago, a month ago, maybe longer. And the stuff this person was saying in the video was just, I mean, you gotta understand that if you're gonna put this stuff out on the interwebs, people are gonna use it and... <sighs> listen, just listen. Roll the film. So I woke up to like, hundreds of hate comments and like a bunch of hateful duets on my videos. And I found out that I made the Ben Shapiro cringe compilation, which I've been on cringe compilations before, but... Um, holy cow. If my followers are like, if you're fat and happy with it and queer and happy with it and trans and happy with it, can you just like send me extra love today? Give me a follow. I need to get back on the right side of TikTok. I'm having like a really, <laughs> I just waking up to that was not what I needed today. Here, quit ya. Quit ya bitching. A couple things here. Right off the bat, get back on the right side of TikTok. There is no right side of TikTok. If you're going to make these kind of videos, this is the blowback. Listen, I accept the fact that if I put if I put these videos out here that I'm doing now, I'm people are going to come on here and call me names, and it's happened. It's happened a lot in the comment sections. People say, I'm racist, or I'm a trans this, or I'm a ist, or a ism, or a phobe. And none of that's true. Not one single bit of that's true. But I accept it. These people, when they get on the Ben Shapiro cringe compilations or Joey B. Toons or somebody else, uh, uh, Crowder uh, or uh, 
Tyler Zed or something. These people get so many more followers after that. And I don't honestly believe that they get a lot of hate. Why, like, why would someone... I don't think anybody went on this person's uh, TikTok and threw a bunch of hate at him. Because what this person said was talking... It was just weird stuff about going to a doctor and saying that the doctor didn't use the proper pronoun. Some, something like that. I don't think anybody went went on this person's TikTok to be hateful. And if they did there, that's ridiculous. But... Listen, listen, I don't know if, I don't know what you are, but whatever you are, person, if you can't handle, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, you know, get off TikTok if you can't handle it. That's all I gotta say. I'll shut up. Moving right along. So, as a fat person, I often dread medical appointments because of blatant medical fat phobia. Um, the last OB appointment I went to, uh, the provider blamed everything on my weight and told me that I needed to go on a medication that made me feel really terrible. <laughs> See, when you make statements like that, you might get a little blowback. Just maybe. Just maybe. Next up. No, no. Haha. Ha. If you're trans, how are you so pretty? And how is your voice so feminine? Roll the film, please. No, no. If you're trans, how are you so pretty? And how is your voice so feminine? I I just I can't wrap my head around it. So you must be a real girl. Bitch. <laughs> Don't be ignorant around here, okay? Listen up. Open your mind's eye, okay? I didn't hit puberty until I was 16. While I was already transitioning, so I was used to having my voice all the way up here. Also, hormones. Ow. Ow. It's called voice training, Karen. Look it up. It's the same kind of principle that professional singers use to stretch out their vocal cords a little bit. <laughs> also, trans women are real women. It's a man, baby. Well, I thought she was a man. She is rather mannish. If that is a woman, it does look like she was beaten with an ugly stick. All right, guys. So this will be the last one. We're going to end it on a positive note here. This, So Joy Reid on uh, MS, MSNBC, I think this, this woman, Joy Reid, is perhaps, perhaps it's between her and Don Lemon and Brian, St little Bri Bri Stelter. Are the three mo are, she may be one of the most despicable human beings on television. This woman is a, a blatant racist. She she lies. Um, it's just just like Don Lemon and uh, Little Bri Bri Stelter. So this is a good one. This will be a good one to end it on. Gives you a little faith and hope. It's good to end it on these ones. Check it out. It says Nicki Minaj versus Joy Reid. Roll, roll the film, please. Like Tuckums and the Ben Shapiro's and other right wing bomb throwers want is not Nicki Minaj to have free speech. Yes, we care about Nicki Minaj's free speech. What they want is a vehicle to drag as many of her fans into their anti vax camp as they can. I haven't listened to Tucker recently, so I don't know how he feels about the vaccine, but I do know that Ben Shapiro is very pro vax. Would never, ever, ever support someone like Nicki Minaj other than to pull her onto their team. Nicki is beginning to see is that it is the Democrats and people like Joy who carry their water faithfully, they will not just even discard black people of influence in, in, in within the culture if they step off of script. They will destroy you. So no, I'm not about to become a big Nicki Minaj fan and buy up her music because that is not my thing. You know what? She did not discourage people from getting the vaccine. They have access to data. And they know that black people are the most hesitant group. Nikki said, hey, you got a choice while they want to force you to take it. Wait a minute. That's the smartest thing I've ever heard anyone say about anything. Nice. Bravo, man. Bravo. God, that Joy Reid, she is something else, huh? All right. That's a wrap. And once again, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Goose. He's over there asleep. Thank you, buddy, for uh, sponsoring today's video. If you want to sponsor the next video, there's a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will 
read your full name in the next video unless stated otherwise by you also check out flip city magazine great magazine i think they're gonna do big things they're on the front lines with us fighting the culture war if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button join us on this journey you guys already know it leave that hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video like that comment section up share this video so people can see what's really going on out there guys things are getting wild so just take care of yourselves make sure you know you're not getting too uh caught up in the craziness and also in the words of the famous george washington stay strapped or get clapped till next time peace